Phil, how would you describe who you are in one sentence? <laughs> uh, I'm uh, a partner, a name partner in the law firm of Fenwick and West. Now, what's your association with Doug Engelbart? I met Doug in 2008, but the uh, chairman of our firm uh, between college and, and um, uh, law school uh, was an intern with, that worked with, with Doug. I didn't know that until long after I met Doug, but uh, I met him as a result of a request made by Sam Hahn uh, and uh, Bill Dowd and Mei Ling. Uh, they had, he was involved in some uh, legal matters and they wanted him to... Uh, okay, so we have some little beep there. What is that beep? No idea. Okay. Okay, so let's resume. Okay. Um, did, you, did you do legal work for Doug? I did, yes. Um, are you at liberty to say what it was about? I'm not. Okay. Um, he's very well known for the concept of collective intelligence. Is that something that you've had an association with? Uh, not really. What uh, The things that he was involved in that uh, were of greatest interest to me, and again, I did not know that before I met him, is um, what he demonstrated uh, in the mother of all demos. And that is what the interconnectability was going to be uh, that would grant location independence to people who were collaborating on the same project. Now you mentioned the mother of all demos which took place in 1968. Were you present at that? No, I was not. I did not know Doug then. I was in in 68, I was in New York. I was at a uh, Wall Street law firm. What do you think Doug is going to be most remembered for? I don't know that. I mean, uh, I know that the thing that everybody has on the tip of their tongue now, on the tip of their memory, is the mouse. But uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, that's only a minor part of what his great vision was. What are some of the other things that he created? Well, you know, he had a he made a great contribution to hypertext, and uh, I when I first uh, learned about hypertext and began to use it, I thought it was just an incredible um, increase in efficiency of referencing because you could simply use a hypertext uh, link and you could take people to the source. So they did not have to accept a third party's characterization. Do you think his work was about bringing people closer together? Absolutely. Uh, he, he, was, um, he was very much, uh, almost all of his activity and his vision dealt with the issues that arise in the interconnectivity of people. Uh, and he uh, said to me something that uh, resonated uh, very strongly because he said there is nothing that anyone can write or do that wouldn't be improved if they had somebody else participating in it. And uh, he made that as an unqualified statement, and I think that was also part of his insight. Do you have any stories or anecdotes about working with him, what he was like to work with? Uh, yes, but I can't talk about that. I enjoyed working with him. Uh, He's passed uh, away now. Usually that releases you. Well, except that I don't want... Uh, he still has family. He still has a wife. He still has children. And uh, as far as I'm personally concerned, uh, that privilege lives with his wife. What do you think he'll be most remembered for in the long term? I don't know, because uh, a lot of what he has contributed, I do not think, 
has yet been thought through. Uh, a lot of people talk about his vision and, and um, of course about the mouse and hypertext and many other things. But the thing that it fascinates me is I've seen nobody that attempted to quantify the economic impact that his work and his vision has created. Uh, this, this relates in part to something that's called um, the cost of transactions, uh, which was a concept uh, that an uh, economist at the University of Chicago wrote about in the 20s and the 30s. Uh, that's what I think that he has, that is his greatest contribution. Much of the innovation that has taken place uh, in the late 70s and up until the present uh, was in part, I think, uh, implementations of his vision, whether the people knew it or not, because they created, others contributed uh, creations that uh, implemented it. The other thing that, that uh, he'll stand out for is that his uh, almost complete uh, lack of any selfishness. Uh, I never heard anything that he said that showed that he had envy for anyone. He managed to, early on apparently, realize that the achievements of anyone is a contribution to everyone. Okay, we probably have enough. Uh, do, you, do you have any additional comments? Anything else to say about Doug? Uh, well, obviously, I'm, I uh, am sorry that he passed uh, because it would have been much more rewarding, at least to the people who uh, worked with him and loved him, to have him witness uh, the implementation of the rest of his ideas. Someone has estimated and I think, I think Doug actually estimated a few years back that the percentage of his thoughts and vision that has been implemented was 3.5%, yeah. meaning 96.5% of it is yet to come. And I think it will come, assuming <laughs> governments don't screw up and create wars that destroy uh, any possibility of 